Adjustments are another really important part of, of being able to find your game when, when it goes off the rails a little bit. You need to make the adjustment. The problem is a lot of players don't actually make the adjustment. They might tell themselves to stay down, might tell themselves to loosen up, but then they don't do it. And the key thing here is that you need to learn how to exaggerate and have just one cue, not too many. But for example, right now, as we hit, um, so let's just say on your ground strokes, you might be peeking a little bit at the shot. You ever do that? Where you peek at the shot, looking to see where it goes. You pick your head up a little bit on contact. You plan to stay down, but the last second, you're a little unsure of where it's going. So, but the key is, on some of these things, you need to actually exaggerate that and do more than you think. And then you'll find your range. You'll find your range. So right now, all right, so on the backhand side, so I'm gonna really work on following through with my left hand on the two-hand. That's just something that always works so well. And as I'm hitting and I'm feeling the shot, feeling my hand through the ball, instead of just telling myself that, I'm actually feeling it through the shot, okay? So the left hand is the adjustment, and I'm staying through the ball, really exaggerating that. So many players say what they want, but they don't actually do it. So this is really important to commit to that adjustment, right? Don't just jump to the next thing if it doesn't quote work. You want to stick with that and commit to that. Now, the best way to make that adjustment is either feeling it, as I said, through the shot, exaggerating it, or seeing it in your mind, really seeing a very brief visual of the ball going to your target. But here, I think the best thing you can do is use your body, use the feeling as you're hitting the ball. And, um, but you need to keep it simple, right? We have to keep it simple on the court. And if you're thinking about too many things and you're jumping around from tool tip to tip, you're gonna get lost and the train's gonna come off the track. So you keep it simple. The backhand, the left hand on the backhand, is really important for me. You need to know what for you is the most important. Maybe. It's getting a little more top spin, right? That means more, a little more knee bend, right? But you have one thing, maybe two in a match that you're working with, you know that you might need to make an adjustment. Maybe it's on the return of serve, where you have to step in on the return because you're maybe backing off the return. So these are the kinds of adjustments. And again, you need to exaggerate it and feel it through the shots.